Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Scooby-Doo games for the GameCube. Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights is a mixed bag. The animations are nice, Scooby moves like in the cartoon, he has animations when the ground is slippery, he has nice running animations, the game also has a laugh track in the background which some like, others don't, I don't care about the laugh track, and the locations are with cell shaded aesthetics and look very nice they look like actual episodes but even if you have free room you can just choose your narrow tunnel in which you want to jump in also the game doesn't have a controllable camera which gets pretty annoying the game also has poor depth perception which also gets annoying but overall the controls are just fine Problem is, the poor depth perception and the lack of controllable camera uh, gets, gets to you. In the game you need to collect Scooby snacks to pass, which leads to a lot of backtracking. And collecting snacks becomes tedious. Collecting is the main thing in the game. There are some occasional boss battles and combat sections, but for the most part, you platform and collect Scooby snacks. That's the game. At least there are plenty of distinct locations, that helps, but the item collecting still gets tiresome. Also the game does a poor job at explaining what you have to do. You don't even know where the door is where you need to give the Scooby snacks to, and the other part of the game, the combat, is just okay. You get a ground pound move, a headbutt move, you can sneak past enemies, and the controls are fine. Boss battles are really easy and enemies usually just feel in the way. Overall the game is good. It definitely is in the better tie-in games category. Tie-in games are usually bad. This one isn't. It's okay. It isn't a hidden gem either, but it's still a good game. It has its fair share of flaws, but it still manages to have fidelity to the source material and feels like a Scooby-Doo episode while offering a decent gameplay to the source material. Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem changes the gameplay formula. This time the game is an adventure game, where you explore, solve puzzles and trap ghosts in a book called Tome of Doom. Also I like that along the adventure, the developers tossed in new gameplay elements. And they manage to make those parts enjoyable and have humor like in the show. Also the gameplay isn't exactly like in Luigi's Mansion when you trap ghosts. You have different button presses and also here you can switch between Scooby and Shaggy as playable characters. Overall the game is great. Some call it a cheap Luigi's Mansion imitation but it isn't. It gets its inspiration from Luigi's Mansion but it doesn't copy it exactly. Instead the developers try to add their own variety to the game. And the end result is an enjoyable game. It won't surprise you or, and you won't call it a masterpiece, but it still is fun to play. But challenge seeking individuals beware, the game is very easy to breeze through. Scooby Doo Unmasked is a mission accomplished time game. It gets it right. The story while not memorable manages to be close to an episode, though there are plenty of sections in the game that seem unrelated to the story. But the gameplay is the true star of the game. The camera controls are a little bit annoying, especially when you want to look up and down, but when platforming, the controls are butter smooth. Platforming is the main gameplay element. And it's a dream. It feels incredible. And because the controls feel so good, the whole game feels good. Combat feels like in Dexter, but Scooby's animations are kinda weird. Still the combat feels good. The game also has variety, though some bosses or some parts aren't as fun to play. But for the most part, the game is enjoyable, especially because the controls are so good.